everybody, I'm Jared at Paperspace, and I'm going to demo for you today how to create infrastructure on Paperspace using our new Terraform provider, Paperspace. You can see I'm at the repository on GitHub right now, github.com slash paperspace slash Terraform dash provider dash Paperspace. This is an open source repository, and there are instructions here for installing and building from source. And separately, you can just download pre-compiled releases right here, so you can install this as a plugin for yourself locally if you don't want to build it from source. Um, first thing I need to do is create an API token in the console. So I'm going to go ahead and create a demo one. I'm going to delete this afterwards. So don't even try to hack it. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and set up my gradient CLI so that I can demonstrate what I'm about to do. So first of all, the goal in this demo is to create three machines and add an SSH key to each of those machines so that I can programmatically access all three of them upon provisioning and when they're ready. Um, the power of this is that you can now treat Paperspace as a cloud. You can automate and you know infrastructure provisioning and deprovisioning on top of Paperspace as a cloud. So if you want to create your own clusters and your own networks and create your own applications on our cloud, the gates are wide open. Um, so it's it's kind of a, a dawning of a new chapter here. So first thing I'm going to do is pr configure my provider with my API key. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get my user. You know, you can get your team ID by going to your uh, team page right here, and it will copy your ID, right? And I'm going to go ahead and pull down these two templates. This is a good one for Ubuntu 18.04 server for CPUs. This one's Ubuntu 18.04 server for GPUs. And then a simple hack here is that I'm going to create a resource that is a paper space script. And I'm going to just simply in that script right here, um, this is a paper space concept, a script. I'm going to echo a public key that I generated. And I'm going to just simply append it to this file in each of the machines that I provision. Any, any machines that have a public key SSH key here will allow me or anyone who has the private key to access that machine, right? So this script gets created by the paper space provider, and then it's going to get used as a parameter. Its ID is going to be passed as a parameter to create this paper space machine and this paper space machine. So each of these machines is going to get this script ID, right? It's also going to get my uh, you know, template ID, my user ID, my user team ID, and other parameters that I want to pass into these machines. Um, and so this script will end up getting run on each of these machines on boot. And one special parameter to call your attention to is live forever equals true. This is something I added um, that just makes it easy to say, don't shut down my machine automatically, right? We normally have this shutdown timeout in hours parameter. If you didn't set either of these right here, it would default to 168 hours. And the only way to get it to live forever, meaning I don't want this machine to ever shut down automatically, is to pass live forever equals true. Okay, so I'm going to provision these three machines, and then I'm just going to output my public IPs and the IDs of each of these machines. So, to um, show you real quick, I don't have I have two machines already provisioned uh, in my Paperspace account for a private cluster that I just created, but I don't have any from Terraform. So first thing I'm going to do is Terraform init. That initializes my backend, the state, which is going to be local for now. You could do that remotely. And then I'm going to run Terraform apply. And that's going to confirm to me the plan. Do I want to create these three machines? Yep, I do. Do I want to create this script? Yes, I do. So I'm going to do yes. And I can immediately see, using the gradient CLI, that these three new machines, right, right here, are currently provisioning. And then Terraform is going to keep querying every 10 seconds until those machines are actually ready. And then uh, they will have, I should expect that they should have that SSH key in them. Um, so let's wait and watch. Cool. So the machines have completed provisioning. And notice I have my public IP addresses here. Um, so let me try SSHing into one of these machines. and. That should be the proof of concept. There we go. I'm in the machine. In fact, if I um, wanted to, I could even 
show you that in fact, this is the public key um, that I had just added to that script. So um, there you go. I have successfully used the Terraform provider on Paperspace Cloud to create three machines and add an SSH key into all of them, which enables anyone who's watching this to do the same. And we would love to hear from you about what you want to develop, any new ideas and features you have for the provider itself, resources you want to provision on Paperspace, as well as um, we welcome open source contributions because it's an open source repo. So um, certainly hit me up, uh, jared at paperspace.com alternately. And uh, thank you again. I'm going to go ahead and delete my SSH keys here, delete my API key, and use Terraform Destroy to deprovision all of this infrastructure. So cool. Thank you very much.